they will give you always the best rate. They connect to Binance, HitBTC, LMAX, and Kraken. What I like about Swissborg is that they have an amazing app. How wow yo yippee yo yippee yay guys it's pile number three super excited to be with you guys today again we're gonna dip dive into the love of the community then talk about what's happening with these sideway markets and then always talk with the most fun what's happening with Swissboard network and yes there's a real cool thing about to announce about voting for a new token in the ecosystem so let's dig dive into it shout out to my lovely brother from another mother evos super cool i think so what you've been doing for a long time is really boosting the artistic note of swiss borg love your fox uh by the way why have you have a fox by the way i always thought about you know first i was like maybe it's it's someone working for metamask right <laughs> and then i was like oh but, but maybe then it was probably that old game that you used to play um on nintendo the fox game i forgot what the name of that was uh huh i can't remember please post it and comment it there or at the end i'll just say maybe someone just really likes foxes regardless of why you choose the fox you still have the green eyes and you have the green hearts and you're doing a lot of really cool different nfts a lot of different lovely uh graphics all around and i'm really big fan of what you're doing so thank you really big applause to you and 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 thank for being a super awesome community member talking about community members and questions and people want to know about uh what has been done since the distribution of revenue generated by the yield initially it was 50 percent going to the premium users how things have changed as you guys know we have different premium genesis premium by that by the way is about to close i think so next month so please get in that will be the last opportunity for you guys and we will probably be revealing other premiums going forward um essentially the premiums have the highest stake and has the essentially we genesis premium don't have any fees on 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 these uh yields right they're really working as hard as but we're working as hard as possible to really generate the highest uh revenues for you guys there uh community premiums uh there is a lower fee and then obviously genesis uh, those who are not premium have an even lesser fee we have obviously changed this as well as well we, we've implemented this for the chsb yield 2.0 but the yield is not only based on uh, how are you premium. That always always have the 2x effect for Genesis premium, 1.5 for community premiums. But as well of how much actually CHSB you're staking. As you guys know, the big idea here is not to have just few big whales, but to have a big amount of dolphins and fishes around the world earning and holding CHSB token in order to really have a network effect for that. I hope I answered the question. If not, please comment and share your thoughts. Big welcome to the family. Like pretty much every week, there's a lot of people coming. Super excited to have Andre, senior product manager. He's going to be helping a lot. A German translator. Yes, German. That is meaning that she, Kelly, would be doing the app probably in German. Stefan, very excited. He's been in the crypto market for a long time. Coming from Napoleon, which is a great, great ecosystem. So he'll be helping a lot in the DeFi in general in designing different passive income strategies for the bright future for you guys and last but not least Matteo which is a very smart banker out of Zurich that is going to help us really to quantitatively approach risk in different patterns uh, looking forward to working with the four of these guys and seeing how they're going to really help us to flourish our Swiss bar ecosystem Redfield bounties like always if you want to be part of our lovely community member and you want to work day and night for swiss board because i know a lot of you guys are working at night but not a day <laughs> uh well there's a lot of new jobs uh some we're going to web designer web developer we're actually looking for uh, illustrator as well so if you're very if you're knowledgeable in mangas or very good or know a friend there please refer one of them and we'll make sure that hopefully we can onboard them within the family or onboard her by the family and if it's a her by the way an extra of those three stars which is three thousand dollars worth of swiss board tokens we will give i will give you sorry one thousand extra news of the week a lot of things happening like always uh long long story short it looks like that uh walmart is not accepting litecoin there was a big bump and dump there uh, but they wanted to sell nfts which i think is always great for mass adoption crypto.com unfortunately you got through hack i think so yesterday or was it saturday uh not uh, was it sunday uh but long story short they had to suspend their withdrawal activity uh which is that always a bit weird 
Uh, Vitalik looking to see understanding why is there other different blockchains that are better than Ethereum. People seem like, oh, it's probably gonna work for another project. Nah, it's just playing the blockchain noirs and showing that, well, Cardano others haven't really got to the point where uh, Ethereum 2.0 wants to get. Uh, so pretty much a competition of who's the best uh, or blockchain's got talent, right? That'll be fun. <laughs> What's your favorite blockchain there? Uh, last but not lose, lo not last but not, <laughs> sorry guys, last but not least, please don't edit this, uh, by the way, let, let it let it make nature. This is cool. People know that it made mistakes, but that makes me human and not a, a cyborg yet. Uh, Spain announced new rules for influencers. This is actually very tricky and very interesting to see how these guys are going play it because influencers they could have financial uh they, they could potentially give like financial uh uh advices but in many cases they don't they just talk about projects and spain is trying to control this i say good luck to them <laughs> i don't think this is gonna be very easy i do understand that probably gonna be like in france is that if you want to promote projects they have to be regulated and all of that that makes sense but at the end, you cannot regulate people talking, okay? People could talk about whatever they want. It's called free speech, and we have it in every democracy in the world. Uh, then if it's really financial advice, and you buy this right now and sell it at this price, okay, that's a bit awkward. We broke the 100K Lil Heroes. I think so we got 14K followers on this uh, great action. I think so it's a great project. We really believe Christoph is actually big into this, uh, but as well, other people at Swissboard community members are really uh, looking. And Franklin, by the way, thank you for this. Um, Lil Heroes is essentially Edgar Plants. Edgar Plants is really a great DJ, uh, not great DJ, a really good artist. Uh, and... If he, he's been doing essentially a lot of these very famous uh, guys, uh, so they're they're beautiful, they're small of them, but there's some that are much bigger as well uh, that they've done. This is a very nice one. I really like this art, and I see this as a very interesting moment of NFTs. Okay, when you have real, extremely good illustrator artists that have something to put into the table, right? Not saying that the Bored Apes is, it was a wrong project. I'm just saying that these guys already have a very massive following into uh, what they're doing with their artistic. And I think so. I like very much uh, that uh, people, like big artists, will get into this. And hopefully these different personas will then be able to yeah, essentially uh, be able to bring mass adoption to nfts and see how this could be played so Edgar plan is here as you can see but then there's actually quite a big team uh, that we got in touch with and uh they're really trying to play this nft wave in a smart way i think so which is really cool you can see on their i mean their twitter is just insane the amount of followers that game seventy-five thousand, just like in a few weeks uh and um you got sold out right uh they all got sold out all of these different lovely little heroes as you could see um there's a secondary market they're already happening um you know there's been a lot of different things we could see maybe the activity right now so let's see what's happening here um yeah right now it's already traded at seven ETH. wow that's quite a lot yeah, the price at precision, I think so, was at, it was at 1, I think so. Now we're at 7, so it's already won 7 times, which is quite crazy when you think about it. Um, and it's not like these ones are the most special ones either. Um, yeah, so let's see how this follows and how, how it is. Um, I think so, it's really good that uh, Swissborg was enabled to, to take a lot of... Uh, okay, this one a little bit less. But it is great, I think so, we've been able to capture some slots... If you were supposed to get a slot and you and it didn't work out, it's not our fault. I think so. They they maybe had some tech issues going on with it. Do you think this we should do more of this in the future? I think this is really good. I think so. Bringing more real artists to it. Obviously, if you're saying to me, Cyrus, you know, an NFT is a great thing to show off and show what you like and all the artistic and how you have been in the early stage of NFTs and collecting these art forms. Maybe these NFTs will give you more usage. And obviously, that's what I want. You know, I, I think so. We're a lot of people. We bring value and we believe that the value is how you use these different tokens, right? But nevertheless, I have one personally very happy to be a holder of one. And uh, yeah, looking forward to have more of these events and hopefully you, you too.
Okay, let's buy a market update. It's a crab fest. What that means is he's going to go inside away. We're just playing around. Nothing more new than than in the uh, last week. We're plus telling with the forty thousand, you know, thirty nine to forty one thousand. If we do go below the support here, that's at thirty nine thousand. This could probably bring us into ugly territory. However, if you look at you know mainly what what has been happening for the there hasn't been massive candle stocks sticks right recently um and even if you know a lot is now played by derivatives as you guys know pretty much similar to uh to i would say in general uh in ethereum obviously it's been healthier we're still at pretty much at that three thousand you know which is the big support there too um obviously which is very exciting you could see is that people while they are not uh, looking towards investing into different altcoins, they're playing a safer bet on Ethereum and they're locking. We see the total locked value has increased to actually skyrocket. And I think so that has shown that people right now are playing and waiting and see. And, and I think so it goes quite similar to CHSB. Um, the CHSB is obviously looking for, uh, it's playing and performing of overperforming bitcoin which is great is looking for big big news that happened in the past obviously if you remember well the relaunch of the swissborg app was one of the biggest one then we had um, a big one which was about the yield that has really cascaded a lot uh, then we had this is against ether by the way then we have the other one which was a lens of the yield on the swissborg token and ever since we're pretty much on par with with ether which i think so it's good obviously big announcements to be happening and uh the next month during our wonderful uh new format uh keynote of uh first uh 2022 i'm very excited again to talk about what our marketing effort is really happening in the team and how they're bringing new ways to really get you guys involved and this time is that we want you to vote on your very favorite token three conditions guys okay please don't say like uh like solana whatsoever it has to be a erc20 token okay if you vote for something else it's not going to be approved so erc meaning that's based on ethereum uh second constraint you have to make sure that it is is that it's available on a smart engine exchange so make sure that uh it's listed on binance on hitbtc on kraken and lmax it won't be probably or and or bitfinex at least usually what we do is like we at least have two on two exchanges but never unless if, if it's a good one it's on one exchange we have already done this for a few of them so it is doable uh, and last but not least, the last filter that has to make put in your brain, it has to have three million dollars volume per day to make sure that it's it's really worth it. And um, I think so. This is something extremely important for you guys is to take part in this in the best way. And and how do you usually guys? How do you look at um, essentially uh, tokens? Right. Let's take the example of Swissport. So very often, what do you want to know the, in the first step is right away you have to understand okay what is the mission and the vision of swissboard right to democratize wealth management by making it fun fair community centric and accelerating the world to transition to decentralized nation which is eventually our mission right first is this appealing or not to you first thing okay yes or no right if this is not appealing, just don't go for that project because you're not going to be so interested by it. It's, it's as easy as that. Then number two, what we have to go is into the token, right? Choose, make sure that you're investing into a project that you believe in the token economics, not in terms of the only the mission, but the, the token. If the token does not have a, a hard appeal, that doesn't mean it's a bad investment. It just means that most probably when things go really south this token is going to die okay uh and and maybe or it has more chances of not surviving well right so why is this swiss board token for example cool it has the chsb yield 2.0 it has the buyback program and uh, through the, the, the community index it has the protect and burn as you guys know it has staking mechanism that enables you to have different premium tiers 
uh, last but not least, it, you're able to to participate in these different referendums or vote on these different tokens that are getting listed, right? So here you see very well that you know you're able to stake it by staking at premium, you get yield. Uh, then you're able to as well to participate and give your voice. Then on the downside, there's buyback and as well buyback and burn. So there's a deflationary headed and you see that uh, essentially Susborg is fueling back investments to buy back the token. So here you see very, very much that the token has uh, has a lot of importance, right? Then what do you want to do after? Okay, it's a Suja project. What you want to do is to go into the team, right? Uh, about us okay so uh, let's say about us it's quite easy uh, why do you like swissborg well you see you see a lot of people essentially uh within the swissborg uh, ecosystem and and that i think was so very important right you you could go at any people on linkedin i very often like to look at what's happening on linkedin um you look at linkedin you can look at the past so what was my what was it what was my career potentially so you know i worked in private banking mainly then in hedge funds for a long time and asset managers and all of that i do have this ability if you look at uh, for example uh anthony uh, that has this beautiful green heart uh well then you could see what he's done and he works for asset managers different other things you know then you could look at francois anyways you go around in the teams and you see like what's the founders and what are the big different guys you can say francois which is like a little bit the number two of tech at Swissborg has been a CTO for multiple years. He's worked in, in consulting. So definitely he's a very good manager for that. Uh, you know, he's been from the PFS, a great school of that. You see uh, the team and you really want to make sure that there's visionary, there's great people for product and there's great people for tech, you know, and, and you could go on, the list could go on and on and on. Uh, you could look at Nicola, for example, uh, Raymond, our CTO. So what he has done, well, you, you, you could see that he had a great career, great education, all of that, did many different startups, and, and it enabled him to, you know, be uh, what he is today. So that, that's the second part, is really to understand the token, the token then the team. And um, I would say that the last one is really to look at the technology. So um, here you could go on GitHub's, for example, of Swissborg, or if you're not that technical, you could just say, okay, what, for example, is the smart engine, right? What is the smart engine? You start digging into this. Uh, you could look at as well in the application and the products, you know, that the stars are really good. There's some good traction there. And um, and then laced, I mean, regarding traction, you could look at the stars, but I think so a very good tool that we like to use uh, very much is as well like um, Twitter, okay? And, and the Twitter, not only sizes do matter, okay? So we have 102 followers, but we want as well to see what is the engagement here, right? 119 messages, 231, that is good, okay? That is extremely good when you think about it. Um, um, a lot of different projects have a lot of followers, but not necessarily a lot of likes because they're not as engaged. Obviously, you guys are amazing and you love you. You put your, you put your, 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 your tokens and your where your love is and your love you put where your twitter is it all goes together uh but uh and that shows again like okay these 14 six it was just crazy this one but you see like each time has a lot of likes and all that and and that 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 has a lot to show with growth it's not just numbers it's as well it's not only followers it's actually real people a real community that's behind it so that would be the four different ways I could I could help you guys to choose for a project. So again, you go for uh, the, the the mission, uh, then you look for the second, you go for the token, then you go for the team, then you go for the technology, and then you see for the growth. And the growth is a lot with Twitter. So maybe another 40, a 40 the mission and the 40s. <laughs> maybe that's, that's a way, like Twitter and traction at the same time. Uh, that could really help you to choose the right one. And uh, last but not least, uh, you know, it's a very easy way. You could get CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap. You could look in the top 100, but you could look in the top 300, maybe top 400, right? You could maybe go for a smaller one and, and, and as well, you can look at different theme base. So if you're like in Metaverse, you're like in MetaFi, if you're looking play to earn, or you could break it down into DeFi and protocol layers. No, not protocol layers, sorry. L2 layers, for example, uh, that are on ERC20. Uh, those are possible. 
so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the way how we could analyze and make sure that we're uh, bringing the, the very best projects into Swissborg and how your vote really counts a lot. Product update, and we are in. Product update. So uh, recovery phrase to secure account, the PN stored on server, not on device. So this is something very important that you have to be, is that um, when you'll be recovering uh, essentially uh, your uh, mobile, your sorry, your account on a different mobile, it doesn't matter you still be able essentially to uh, uh essentially to only uh, recuperate uh with the private key but as well with your own pin and the pin could be you know as long as you want the password could doesn't should be for four different things and actually you should never do four you should at least do six or just a very very complex password uh, so that's going to be done in the next uh, few weeks hopefully um but right now what we're trying to implement it's to uh, provide a pin on withdrawal so each time you're withdrawing you're actually doing a pin an extra pin as well so that could be <clears throat> sorry that could be really cool and a good way to um again bring more security into what we're doing swiss board chart of the week um we have a very big amount close to 80,000 yielders and 127 yielders please for the 127 others you could actually be yielding guys and get into community premium hopefully so uh if you have friends family or whatsoever uh, there's over 50,000 people should be yielding right now. So please do so. Uh, 50,000 uh, new users into yield since November 21. I think so that's a very, very good healthy number. Uh, last but not least, CGP's euro subscription versus redemption is two times three uh, since yield to 2.0. So it really shows the stickiness, which is really good. Uh, and obviously the number of users in the top yield per day it is always uh, chsb so big thank you and congratulations to all of you guys this really shows that even in hard times more sideways market people still have faith and i want to bring that green lovely love to you guys yield wallets pretty much we're pretty stable as we guys obviously it brings a bit the assets uh, held there a little bit lo clo closer than lower than a billion, but that's due to market conditions mainly. Sweet CHSB data, it's pretty stabilized, but crazy enough, 80% of circulation, it's actually now uh, staked or to the yield program, which is really good. A little bit less than, you know, 412 people into premium, which is great. Pretty flattish week, 3% up. Uh, last but not least, we have 2.4 million almost protect and burn and 124 at 5,000 people that hold Swissboard token in the app, which brings us to the massive community and their different, different, different decks. And I'm super excited about this because today we are going to shout out a massive number. Please make the guess. It is not 8.2. It is bam, nine. Nine. That's really good. Nine Y equals, I think so. The whole metrics are going on fire and even crypto challenge. Great for that. So I hope you guys are enjoying great times with great green bullish inter versus war network, even though if the market is sideways. So that is very healthy sign and extremely happy for showing you this, guys, today. Tomorrow night, as always, is Kryptonite. And to be the episode two of how we are sourcing the best content within the last two years plus with more than 100 videos on lovely kryptonite and this time is gonna be more of the economics and token economics about bitcoin so please check it out a lot of different ways to and understand how is economically bitcoin one of the best solution in the world as you go guys uh are the bears back again i don't believe so <laughs> but what i do is that please follow us on any social media and make sure that uh you are awesome, like always. Hey guys, love you community members. Uh, this was a, definitely a very, very interesting week we had last week. Growing the Twitter from, uh, you know, 80k to over 100k. Uh, really showing as well that NFTs has a big, big importance into what we are trying to achieve that's democratizing wealth management by making fun fair community centric. And, and maybe some don't see the value today of NFTs. And some on the opposite really have been trying to 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 get to all the little heroes, the board apes and the futures. And I do believe that value is changing on a daily basis. We have to understand that value that had yesterday is very different one value what it has today. 
you know, over a third of all the money, money has been printed in the last two years into fiat. That really shows that value is very different. Real estate just has one up. Inflation are seven, eight percent in most countries. And even if we're hiking rates and hopefully able to, with some stimulus package again to reduce those rates and 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 get back into this this inflationary mode, we have to understand that the world is changing, and you are at the very closest part of taking action of where wealth is being created and how we bring value to different and new things and i think so you know you should really remind yourself and and talk about around you how this is really a game changer it's something that we haven't probably ever seen in the life of the last century or so you know it, it's just so new how these metaverse you know i was just i just came back from saint moritz uh which had a cfc conference so something really interesting i'll probably maybe talk about it some next week on twitter and you know it was with stanny from ave a brilliant guy obviously the the founder and with uh sebastian from you know um from uh, a lovely uh metaverse sandbox and with a lot of different other people uh, across of the ages, one of our great projects, we believe in the play to earn and so many different other founders. And, 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 and we're just had all the same thing is that we're at this critical moment. We probably don't realize it, that the whole thing is changing. We're all interconnected and now these videos are happening. But then how are these videos going to be able to reward you when you're watching it? And then how that you could potentially even sell this as an NFT and then bring it into another platform? Or how are we going to be playing these next powwows into Sandbox or into the, you know, the Central Land or the next new other project? And I think so this is going to be extremely happy. And I'm really glad that we are in and really the, the front seats right now and taking action on it so as always guys be healthy be wealthy and love our CHSB. take care guys bye through swissborg all assets will have a fiat gateway and here is the thing premium features gives you zero fee trading it's a, an amazing fiat gateway